it's that time of year where we rack our brains trying to find the perfect gift for our friends, our families, or that special someone. And let's face it, that's not always an easy task, is it? Well, I want to talk to you about some perfect gifts for that retro gamer in your life. Hi, my name is Amy Vishwanate and you are watching Techie Housewife. As you may or may not be aware, over the last couple years, I have covered a lot of handhelds that support emulation and native gaming, like some of the Android devices and Steam Deck, but mostly emulation devices. So if you know somebody who loves, or maybe they're just becoming interested in, or you want to introduce them to the wonderfully fun, exciting world of retro gaming, like a parent, an aunt, an uncle, a brother, a sister, a cousin, maybe a kid, a friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, etc. Well, I'm here to offer you some great gift ideas for them. I will only be giving ideas from what I personally own so I can actually speak from my experiences of these devices. I will be breaking these down into categories starting from lowest to highest. So let's get started. The first category is the less than $50 category. And I only put one in here because I think this is pretty much the only one worth mentioning in this price range. It is the Pow Kitty V90. It ranges from $30 to $40 and for this category it is a no-brainer. This has the look and feel of the Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. It's compact and also it's a great device as an intro into the handheld emulation world. Also another plus for this is it has a pretty loud volume for its size. Okay, let's go to the second category. The second category is $50 to $150. And my first mention in this category is Miu Mini. It ranges from $60 to $130. Yes, that is correct because these are hard to find in stock. The average price was $60, but since it's hard to get your hands on these anymore, it can go up to $130. So this is a great handheld. It's an awesome experience. Great quality for its compact size and also it comes with a case and I love my little case. This actually I had to go get it out of my purse for this video because it is a permanent part of my purse. <laughs> the Miu Mini is very enjoyable to play with and this is my favorite mini handheld to date. Also it does have a beautiful screen as well for its size. Okay next for this category, I picked Retroid Pocket 3. It starts at $116 and it goes up from there. This can emulate N64 and Dreamcast well, and it has touchscreen, so it will be much easier to navigate in Android if you are using the Android operating system. This is pretty cool because the package does come with some extra goodies like buttons and membranes. So if you do feel inclined to change those out, you can. It has a very sleek look. It has great materials. It's lightweight, the D-pad and buttons are pretty good too and the screen is beautiful as well so this is actually good for someone who is already into retro emulation and they may want to play around with the options that it does offer next we are looking at amber nix rg351 v p and m these start at 99 dollars and can go up from there this series is one of the most loved series from amber nick and these handhelds are pretty high quality i have the v and the p and the v is my favorite out of all three as i thoroughly enjoyed my experience with it plus the look and feel is a throwback to the good old days of nintendo's funnest handhelds these are great introductory handhelds and will not disappoint especially for the newbie and they are very comfortable to play Next, I want to talk about Evercade, and maybe you haven't heard of it, maybe you have. They're pretty cool. The Evercade Premium Pack is just $99, and this offers quite a bit for this package at the $99 price point. This is so sweet, and it's perfect for that newbie or that retro gamer that enjoys a cartridge experience. The Evercade Premium Pack includes three cartridge collections, which is Atari Volume 1, Interplay Volume 1, and Data East Volume 1. The aesthetics are amazing and captivating, and they truly caught the look and feel of retro gaming with this. And if that isn't already super awesome, the Evercade EXP is $149, and it's even sweeter, at least from a gaming perspective. 
I still prefer the look of the original, but this has 18 built-in games, and also it has the tape mode for the vertical screenplay with dedicated buttons. Super cool, I'm telling you. And it also comes with one cartridge. It has built-in Wi-Fi, and it's just pretty cool all around. I am actually still waiting on my Evercade EXP as my shipment met with some unfortunate events, but I can vouch for how much I love Evercade and my original experience with them. And I don't think you can go wrong with this. Next in line, we have Anbernic RG300X. This ranges from 59 to 69. This is a sweet little handheld that throws you back in time as it's designed with the Game Boy Micro in mind. It does use an older chipset, but it delivers on the nostalgia side of things if that's what you're looking to deliver for a gift. And also, I just love the Famicom colors. Okay, now for our third category. Money is not an issue. First in line here, I have the Analog Pocket for $280, and I'm not sure that you will be able to order it for the $280, as when we were looking for these, we had a hard time finding it. So this is one of the most awesome handhelds I have ever played with when it comes to responsiveness, quality, and also having a completely original experience. It plays original cartridges, yes, it's true, it does. It plays original cartridges and its emulation power is just crazy amazing. You will absolutely have no disappointment in this device should you choose to either get it for yourself as a gift or someone else. Okay, next, and you absolutely had to know this would be on the list, Steam Deck. It starts at $399 and it goes up to $649. This is such an awesome device. It's powerful, eye-pleasing, and from Steam to emulation, this is a dream. I think this is great for the more experienced retro gamer who also likes to play modern AAA games as it's capable of playing modern games at a lower resolution and a reduced graphics fidelity. Now we are moving on to the next in line and I absolutely love this thing. The Logitech G Cloud handheld gaming console. It starts at $299 and you need to watch for deals. Um, I believe this is a little overpriced and Black Friday they actually did have $50 off. So keep your eye out. Maybe you might find this at a lower price. Though this has had its share of criticism, I absolutely love it. I think it's my favorite handheld to pick up and play just because the enjoyment it brings from the ergonomic comfort, more than decent controls, a beautiful screen, and great cloud gaming as well as emulation. It's not too heavy, so gaming for a good bit of time is super easy on this. And it walks you through the setup, which I think would even work for someone who is a bit new to the retro gaming scene as well. So I think it's a pretty cool device and yes, I, I still like it even after a few weeks of using it. There are so many handhelds out there and most of them are quite an enjoyable experience. However, what I have suggested are the handhelds that I own and I have had experience using so I can actually give you an opinion firsthand. I will link my review videos for each of those devices in the description below so you can watch them and have a better idea of my actual thoughts on each of those. Giving the gift of an experience that was so memorable from childhood, high school, or even college days is really a gift in itself. There is something locked inside each of us that when we see a game we used to play, it wakes up and floods us with those memories, those feelings, and the excitement that it used to bring when we used to pick them up and play. My list isn't perfect and it's not set in stone, and with just a little bit of research, you can find that perfect gift for the one you're thinking of. Are any of you planning on giving someone their first retro gaming device this Christmas? What an awesome gift that is. That is all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Please hit like, subscribe. Also, share this with your friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, don't forget to have a retro game-tastic Christmas.